What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be about the new Rogue Talent secret technique, but currently on beta it actually does nothing and it just takes the energy and takes the calm points and does nothing. It's in fact so secret that we actually have no idea what it does when we use it. But for now I just got a couple more subtlety rogue duels. As soon as this bug gets fixed I'm going to do a video on secret technique. I'm pretty excited for it. I can at least read you guys the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a new level 100 talent and basically it says it uses a finishing move that vanishes you from sight momentarily and creates three shadow clones. Makes me think of Naruto. I'm pretty excited for it. I hope it works pretty soon. I don't know if it's actually going to be better than the other options. But uh, anyway, yeah, it says your shadow clones each perform a piercing attack on all enemies in a line, dealing physical damage to the primary target and reduce damage to other targets. So I don't know if this is actually going to be better than Eviscerate because the damage is rather close, but I think it's going to be more of an AoE finisher that should provide some decent burst AoE for uh, dungeons and stuff. I'm not sure if it'll really be useful in Arena, but nonetheless, I'm excited to try it out. But for now, I got a couple duels that I'm going to show you guys, and anyway, we're just going to hop into that for now. Same as always, I'm going to play the duel and then go back over it in slow motion to let you guys know what was going through my mind as I was playing through the duels. These are going to be the talents used in this video. I have dropped Thief's Bargain in favor of Dagger in the Dark. I'm not sure if it's actually better or not, just trying to grab a little bit more burst damage and also keeping Soothing Darkness for those resets as it does get full effect in duels for 3% health every 1 second during Stealth or Dance, the rest of the spec being very burst oriented still. Anyway, onto the first duel against the Rep Paladin. Please enjoy. Alright, so to start this duel off, I go for a standard dance opener. Um, I get some good damage in, I prepare to use DFA off of this to potentially avoid his Hammer of Justice. He holds it for a second and lands it afterwards, popping Shield of Vengeance as well. I should have actually waited here and tried to maybe cloak Shield of Vengeance as it does do a lot of damage to my health. He starts to kite me and I decide to vanish out and go for a reset on the stun DRs. Um, right here, he starts casting and I decide to go for a surprise kick from stealth because I know that when the lockout of the stun or sorry, the lockout of the kick ends, um, I will be able to full kidney again, and that will force his trinket. So right now, um, I know that he's not playing Blinding Light, as that would have been a prime opportunity to use Blinding Light and try to top himself. So I keep trying to grind his HP down a little bit before blinding and going for another reset. He decides to bubble the blind, and I'm very low, so I'm forced to uh, pull some crazy stuff with Shadow Step here. Um, I get max range, I manage to shadow step twice. I have my auto attack turned off for that, so every time I shadow step him, I don't actually get myself back in combat. I'm able to get a lucky restealth off of that and then reset one more time here, gaining some health back from Soothing Darkness. Soothing Darkness being very powerful in duels. I don't like that I have to play like this, but honestly, if I didn't reset, he would just smash me and I would have no chance. And the second duel is against a Fury Warrior.
Alright, so against this Fury Warrior, just another very broken display of how Soothing Darkness is good in duels. Uh, definitely didn't come into play as much as it did against the Rat Paladin, but anyway, hopping straight into this duel. Um, this Fury Warrior, I open up with a standard dance. Um, he decides to trinket my cheap shot immediately and try to kite for some distance. I follow up with Shadow Step to try and avoid his charge so that he doesn't get as much rage. Um, then I do decide to vanish out on his next charge. He does actually pop Avatar the moment that I vanish. I should have actually waited to see Avatar as um, he didn't actually have Stormbolt this duel, which is a mistake on his part. I think Stormbolt's incredibly useful against rogues. You'll see me sap his food attempt here and then distract a second time just to delay his food and try to stop him from getting to full HP. As soon as Stun DR falls, I open it up with a uh, kidney shot and I go for some more damage, I follow it up with Cheap Shot. I kind of misused Blades there, I should have used Shadow Blades before I actually opened to get that global cooldown out of the way. And now I just pop Evasion and keep milking down his HP, trying to get some more damage in. My plan here is to actually um, wait for his Commanding Shout, which he did use there, and I'm just going to blind and go for one more reset on Stun DRs. Um, should just be able to open up with a Kidney Shot, you'll see when Commanding falls here, he only has about 6k left. I re-stealth, go for a kidney anyway to get that subterfuge to get a couple shadow strikes in, finish him off, and that's the duel. As you see, I finish at full HP against this. Soothing Darkness is just way too strong. That's why it's nerfed in Arena PvP. Next time, I am going to aim to do some more duels without Soothing Darkness just to see what the class can do without the crazy healing. I really doubt that they will nerf Soothing Darkness though in world scenarios, so in world PvP, it's going to be super nice to have this talent as Faint is definitely weaker this expansion. Next time's duel is probably going to be with Faint, and we'll see what's going to happen with that. I hope you guys enjoyed some more of these duels. Please like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys all again really soon.